welcome or welcome back to Crafts by KMW. Thank you so much as always for clicking on this video to watch it and I hope you enjoy it. So this is going to be another short video. I just wanted to share with you what I did to kind of jazz up something I bought from Dollar Tree. So I bought a bunch of DIY items from Dollar Tree that you can paint and customize. But I also bought something that really wasn't supposed to be customized, but I did it anyway. <laughs> when I showed the video, when I showed the item in the uh, haul video, I talked about leaving it as it was. Because actually, it was really pretty as it was. I really liked it. And I next day, I sat down to start painting some of the other things. Uh, that I bought from Dollar Tree as well as Michael's. And this was sitting there on the table and I kept looking at it and I kept looking at it and I kept thinking, ah, oh, I think I should put some color on it. So I did. So I wanna show you what I what I did with it. I do have a picture of this uh, pre-decoration. So I'll put it somewhere, wherever it fits. So you could see what it looked like before I decorated it. So. Here is the finished uh, piece, the finished work. So I used a Huhu metallic paints to fill in the leaves and I did it with all different colors, copper, gold, green, red, orange. And I went over the berries that were just solid white with a darker red. And then I wanted to do something with the word. This was, <laughs> this turned out to be a work in progress. The first thing I did with the letters was I covered it with Spectrum Noir glitter pen. It's just a clear glitter pen. And I don't know, it didn't look all that glittery to me. It didn't make the word, because it was just white, stand out any better. So then I thought, okay, maybe I'll go over it with a gold gel pen. So I started doing that and I didn't like that either. It wasn't standing out. It, it, I don't know. I don't think it added anything to it. So then I thought, oh, well, maybe I should try copper. So I started going over that and doing some other letters with the copper gel pen. And I didn't like that either. It was a different color, a different shade than the copper that's in the leaves. And it just wasn't doing anything for me. So I kind of ruined it by that time. I had some gold, some copper on here and it was a mess so I knew I had to just do it in black. So I used the Ohuhu metallic black paint and I painted over the letters. Yes. Uh, they actually turned out pretty good. There's a little wobblies in here but for again for not being a painter, for not having a super steady hand and probably not having the best paint brushes I used a, a small thin brush, but it's not high quality by any means. I think I bought it in a pack of like five for like $5. So it wasn't the best quality brush. I think I did pretty well with it. It's, I definitely would have preferred it not to be black, I think. I think the black is really bold, but I'll probably have this covered up for the most part anyway. So I, I like it. And then... I sealed the whole thing with three coats of matte Mod Podge. When you buy this, the leaves and the words are just laid on. I think they must be a, a, a rub-on. Um, and I didn't want them to peel with use, with putting things on and taking things off. So I sealed it. So now this will be on there forever. It should stay exactly the way it is. And uh, I didn't mention before, but this is a Lazy Susan, if you didn't happen to uh, watch my haul video. $5 at Dollar Tree. This is totally worth it. See if you can get yourself one. So I'm really happy with this. I'm going to use it for art supplies most likely, but you could use it for anything. So just wanted to show you how it turned out. And I think it illustrates too that... Uh, crafting and doing art is not is not a science it's it's a process you will screw up you may mess up but it's all about 
actually doing it, putting yourself out there, trying new things, and seeing what happens. And even though the word didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted to, I didn't really want it black or I would have started with black. I like it overall. I think it looks great overall and I'm really happy with it. So that's the video. Thank you so much. I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up to like it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate you and I hope you're enjoying the channel. And you can also find me on Facebook. Please join my Facebook group. I would love to get it really growing and off the ground, sharing lots of arts and crafts. And you can also find me on Instagram as well. So thanks again. Have a fabulous day and of course, a very crafty day.